Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next 10 to 14 days for today's second video. Day 10 will take us to the 30th of November and we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the search of FS and ECM ensembles. May run around a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at CFSB2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. Gets us into the middle part of December. And I shall get some of that for you in a moment. Just to say that first, the video of this day was our 6am UK weather forecast. So please like, share and subscribe on all of today's videos of content. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. We had an epic, epic weekend of content, particularly yesterday, Sunday, we released the 12th and penultimate winter 2023-24 update. It ran to over an hour. So if you have not yet seen that epic video, then please check it out. And uh, also, we was live at 6 p.m. Had our biggest live stream since last winter with 140 odd concurrent viewers um no thank you so much everybody for an incredible incredible live stream and we released the seventh piece of chris account now straight after that stream as well so a big big day of content yesterday at gas movies i hope you all enjoyed it if you wasn't able to catch up with it at the time you know watch it at the time then please catch up um it's all out there on the channel you can watch on demand anytime you like so thank you so much everyone for an amazing weekend of content okay let's start off then with the central england temperature the ct is uh, currently sitting at 8.6 which is 2.2 degrees above 61 to 99 average actually turned into a very mild november it hasn't, <laughs> to be honest, it hasn't really felt that, that mild here personally but we haven't had any cold frosty nights or not many uh, I suppose that, account, that accounts for a lot of it. But uh, anyway, uh, 8.6, 2.2 degrees above the uh, 6 to average. That's original to yesterday to the 19th of November. These are the 500 millibar height anomaly flow charts from Penn State University. For the next 7 to 10 days, we've got the ECMWF on the top, the GFS is down here on the bottom. 500 millibars, 80 pounds of pieces in area in the absolute high pressure, low pressure are being moved around by a jet stream running above. Red extrapolates high pressure blue to low pressure. The ECM in the 7 to 10 day time frame is placing a, a ridge in the Atlantic. It has a mid-Atlantic ridge there with a trough of low pressure away to the east. So the coldest weather is going to be where we have a trough of low. That will be across northern, central and eastern parts of Europe. We're kind of on the periphery of that, but it's only pulling in something a little bit cooler uh, there or colder from the north and from the northwest. But GFS is better if you want a colder outcome. That has the, cloth, the, the trough um, that further westwards into northern and even western parts of Europe. It has the blocking area of high pressure. Well, it's got a bit Atlantic Ridge, but it's got the blocking area of high pressure further north towards Greenland and Iceland as well, and that would help to force down colder air from the north. So that would be two BGFS, looks for colder of the outcomes. These are the 500 millibar high tonic flow charts. For basic, you know what to talk about. This is the. Uh, <laughs> These are the GFS upgrade temperature amplification ensembles for the next couple of weeks. The red line is a 30 year upper air temperature average for Preston. And we're starting off above average over the next few days generally, but we will see the upper air temperature coming down as we get to the end of the week. Actually, looking uh, quite cold as we get to the end of the week and into the weekend. And then generally hovering below average as we go through the closing days of November and into the start of December. By the very end of the ensemble, it looks like we're lifting the upper air temperatures up a little bit, but only back close to average. So probably like a week of quite cold weather to come, if that's correct. Precipitation-wise, so quite a bit of dry weather over the next uh, few days. Not completely dry, there will be shy bursts coming and going, but uh, high, high pressure overall in control. Maybe turning wetter, though, into the uh, opening week of December. That's the midnight GFS run. This is the latest, the 6th step. All looking very similar, uh, really. So, uh, again, we see quite a, uh, quite mild weather for the next few days. By the end of week into weekend, turning colder, that lasting into the beginning of next week. Now, you'll notice the thick green line lifting up here. That's the GFS 6N operation runs. So that turns things a bit milder, quicker than uh, some of the GFS runs have been doing so. And again, precipitation-wise, lots of dry weather, really, uh, through to the closing days of November, and then possibly turning more unsettled, especially when we get into December. Let's have a look at snow row. So there is a chance that we might get some snow there in uh, Preston at the end of November. There are some, some snow spikes, though, 
not all that many of them. Temperature anomalies from the 20th to 28th of November are around just a little bit above average. It isn't a particularly big deviation. Precipitation anomalies from the 20th to 28th of November dry up an average. That's quite a significant change on what we've had pretty much of this autumn so far. Latest wind from that from EarthNoSchool.net shows that low pressure clearing away today into the continent. And in its wake, we're bringing in uh, a rather cooler northwesterly wind. But high pressure in the Atlantic will very quickly get those winds back into the west and to the southwest. But the main talking point will be high pressure taking over, breaking us out of the deluge. Right, let's start going through chart data. Then. This time, the latest UK bet Euro run is looking for midnight on Thursday. High pressure south, low pressure north, bringing wind in. From a mild westerly direction. High pressure then pulls out to the west as the ocean fried Saturday and we bring down a northerly. But most of the northerly with the UK Met is going into northern Europe. So most of the northerly is through Scandinavia, Nordic regions, into Germany and Poland are, uh, you know, Bal uh, the Baltic Sea states, that'd be Estonia, Lithuania, etc, etc, etc. And we're kind of on the periphery of it. It will be cold. We are bringing some cold air into that uh, ridge, but. Um, it's not, you know, it's, it's, not a, it's not a big cold shot. Then low pressure starts coming in from off the Atlantic for Sunday. That could bring some shy rain in with it. And then a high pressure reestablishes behind that low for the beginning of next week. Again, that high pressure is to the north, so quite cool or cold air being brought into that area of high pressure. But the coldest of the weather is over northern, central and northeastern Europe. I can't, again, with high pressure, south, low pressure, the north set up on Wednesday, bringing that mild westerly flow into the end of week. Low pressure keeps coming. And it's not until it gets around Sunday, actually, that I can start delivering colder air from the north. Oh, hang on, that's the uh, 12th, everyone. Right, OK, so let's go backwards and... Right, so do that again. High pressure south, low pressure north, bringing the wind from a westerly direction on Thursday. What's going to happen after that? Let's have a look. So, again, we have that high pressure south, low pressure to the north scenario for Friday. Saturday brings low pressure in from after. It looks very similar to, to yesterday, 12Z, actually. So, I could, I could have stuck with that. But anyway, yeah, the low pressure clears away by Saturday. Sunday will draw down. That cold north wind. So, Icon does eventually take colder. It takes a little bit longer to get there. Another trough pushing through into that cold air. That looks quite interesting. That might deliver something a little bit wintry next Sunday if that was to come off. And I think we're going to finish up with Savage and Orville. Yes, we are. So, by the time you get through to uh, midday next Monday, again, the wind is coming in from that northerly direction. Icon looks better for cold. It's more unsettled. It takes a little bit longer to get there, but it looks better for cold than the UK met there. Uh, right, this is how the GFS Midnight Run is looking. Again, high pressure south, low pressure to the north. Winds coming in from a mile westerly direction on Wednesday. When the high pressure pulls out to the west, we start to establish the northwesterly to northerly wind as early as, uh, th as Friday there. And then beyond that, we go to a proper northerly. So uh, we've got high pressure again out to our west and north. Low pressure is to our east. So as we go into the coming weekend, we are looking really quite cold there with a brisk, strong northerly wind, probably feeling snow showers into northern and eastern parts of the country. So cold through the weekend to the beginning of next week, high pressure starts to slip a little bit further southwards, allowing lower pressure coming from off down. So again, that's coming into quite cold air, so it might deliver something a little bit wintry. And as we head up towards day 10, we start to get lower pressure, uh, lower pressure establishing down to our south and southwest. It turns very unsettled there uh, for the beginning of December. Low pressure takes over, turning wet, windy, but also milder. However, that low pressure then uh, moves away to the east. High pressure begins to build out to the north and west again. We get wind back into more of a northerly direction. So as we get to the end of the GFS midnight run, which gets us 6th of December, we've got high pressure out to our north, west, and also Scandinavia, low pressure from south, wind coming in from an easterly uh, direction. Uh, right, okay, we've GFS 6 then again. We have low pressure north, high pressure south, bring wind in. Off the Atlantic from a westerly direction on Thursday, then Friday again, we're into those northerly winds, low pressure away to our east, high pressure out to west, drawing down that cold northerly. So, uh, GFS establishes the cold air quicker than like UK there and uh, Icon, particularly Icon. Uh, then we go into the weekend, so we're looking cold, but high pressure really starting to slip a little bit further south was 
as early as Sunday show by the beginning of next week. Low pressure comes back in from off Atlantic, turns things milder and more unsettled. Uh, right, maybe get uh, beyond that, beyond day 10, and but Jeff S. It said just wants to re-establish the Dow. It's <laughs> really so deep road pressure comes in from off the Atlantic through the first week of December, and we finish up drawing up a mile southwest. You're not a prolonged cold spell with GFS 6 If you enjoyed the video, please do like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Why not drop a comment and let's just say what you think about this and all of our video. Don't forget to tell friends about Gals Well, obviously. Thank you so much, everyone, for uh, doing that. We only need to put around 70 subscribers now to get ourselves to uh, 17.3k so if you could give us a sub that'd be absolutely incredible thank you so very much everyone for doing that right okay so the gm again with high pressure south low pressure north people wind in the map west or southwesterly direction uh um, as we go through thursday to friday and then low pressure moves in from off the atlantic into the weekend not bringing the normally down anywhere near as quickly as the gfs does but eventually we get into that normally wind. it takes till the end of the weekend but eventually we start pulling in the wind from more of a north or northeast direction so by the beginning of next week this will be like tuesday we're cold low pressure gone away to the east high pressure out to the northwest and down is coming back cold north or northeast wind we keep things pretty cold then right way to the end of the gem run which gets us today to the last day of november the third ship of the month day cam with high pressure away to the west and pulling in wind from the northeast these northeast winds might deliver wintry showers to uh east and even southeast of regions there for the end of november so the gem takes longer to get the cold in but when when it gets in it actually looks better for maintaining the cold You'll notice there's a lot of variability within the model now, but as always, when we're looking at a cold snap or a cold spell, uh, so much uncertainty, so much variability, two steps forward, one step back in the evolution. That's typical for, uh, for, for, for cold snaps and cold spells in this country. The only time I can remember where that didn't happen was probably before the December to remember, well, actually November. 2010 when it all kicks off that was very uh you know there's no chopping and changing with that on the models once they latched on to it they just ran around with it uh right okay ecm again with high pressure to the south low pressure to the north on thursday bringing that mild westy wind then we get the first push of colder air from the northwest on friday so if ecm gets the cold air in uh, a little bit more quickly, although the coldest of the areas with a trough of low pressure across northern, northeastern parts of Europe. Nevertheless, it is cold of those. We get to the end of week, certainly cold enough for overnight frost at the weekend with this ridge of high pressure. And then into the open next week, lower pressure starts trying to come in from off the Atlantic before high pressure takes over again. So if you get to day 10, uh, we're back under an anticyclonic influence of so high pressure again sitting just out to our west so are we going to pull out pull down a cold northerly wind if we could go out beyond that uh another 24 hours it's possible we would do we have got this trough of low pressure just here but going in that direction so if that high pressure uh went in that direction it's possible we would bring down uh, a northerly flow there if we go on any further than the day can with the ECM, which of course we can't. This is this is the precipitation forecast based on that ECM run from Tometio.com. So, we're well, overall a lot drier in the next few days. That's the main talking point immediately. You know, whatever happens with the cold weather at the end of the week and the weekend, the main point is that things are looking a lot drier away from northwest of Scotland, anyway, where those westerly winds will continue to bring some rain. Now, at the end of the week, we bring a cold front south, which that'll be a very weak affair, just bring a few showers, but introducing cold rain, so showers maintaining wintry across northern parts of scotland notice most of the showers are running down the east coast as we go into the weekend or running down the north sea most of those are actually looking dry but will be quite cold over the weekend with overnight frost then low pressure tries to get in from off the atlantic early next week most of the rain with that misses us though and high pressure establishing again uh bringing a lot of dry weather again there's some showy bursts up in the door but the emphasis over the next weeks and days is definitely towards much drier conditions these are the options on the table within the ecm ensembles today for day 10 from ecm.int taking us to the third shift of november 13 members of the ecm ensembles have low pressure away to the east while high pressure is uh, to the west and to the northwest and with that winds will be coming in from more of a northerly direction we have got uh 10 
just here that have high pressure out to our uh, west but also to the northwest so i assume that includes the operation run as well so winds with that coming from more of a northwest direction anti-cyclonic and a bit of a chilly side and then we've also got another 10 here with high pressure more or less over the top of the country Moving on with the options, we've got seven with high pressure much further north blocking within high latitude, top of low pressure over to the east country winds again coming in from that north or northeasterly direction. So that could potentially be cold and wintry, but only seven during that. And then four again with like a, a mid Atlantic ridge that extends towards northern blocking over Greenland, low pressure to the east. And again, we've got wind coming in from a north or a northeasterly direction then. In two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got. Gets us to the 5th of December. 16 members of the ECM ensembles have low pressure over on the east side of Europe, high pressure to our south-southwest. That's re-establishing a milder west or southwesterly uh, wind flow. We have then got uh, 12 members of the ECM ensembles with a mid Atlantic ridge, again, extending back to northern blocking within the polar region, low pressure to the east winds again coming in from a north or a northeasterly direction, potentially with that, so that could be quite cold and wintry. We've got 12 with high pressure further south, was around France, Spain, Portugal, low pressure to the north, back bringing back much milder weather from the uh, southwest again. And then we've got 11 with high pressure to our west and northwest. And again, that will bring down the wind from a cold north, northeasterly type direction. So a lot of options there. The key thing initially is to get the cold air in in the first place. So there's a bit of uncertainty still within the model output about how quickly the cold air gets in. Uh, at the end of the week and into the weekend. And then whether it's just a cold sap lasting a couple of days or whether it turns into an extended protracted cold spell, um, we have to wait and see about that. And we'll keep you posted through the week. CFSB2, uh, finally, these are five hundred millibar high times break down into week periods. The first week period takes us from the 20th, 26th of November, the coming week with high pressure just to our west. Around it, we bring the wind in from the west or northwest direction, so mostly dry and mild until the weekend anyway. Week two is the 27th of November to 3rd of December, low pressure below average heights across much of Eastern Europe, so very cold through there. For us, we've been kept uh, relatively mild by the high pressure in the Atlantic, continuing to bring the wind in for our southwest. We're just on the periphery of the cold dishes, really, over on the continent. Week 3 does look cold, though. This is before to the 10th of December. Trough of low pressure backs into uh, Western Europe, blocking area of high pressure to our uh, north, and that should get the wind into, like, a, a, an east or a northeast sea pair. The high pressure as well as high pulling away from us into the middle of the Atlantic as well, helping to uh, bring that cold air down from the north. So early December is looking cold there with CFSB2. However, it is only brief. And then week four, the 11th, 17th of December, brings low pressure back in from off the Atlantic. And with winds returning back to southwest, that will be turning milder, but also wetter there around the middle part of December. We'll see. I'm not really looking any further than the weekend, than the weekend at the moment, to be honest. So uh, I want to see, you know, uh, agreement about getting this northerly in, and then we will go from there. So we'll keep you updated. Right, we're done. If you've enjoyed the video, please do you like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for doing that. Won't drop a comment. Let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. And don't forget to tell your friends about Gals Worthy. So thank you so much, everybody, for uh, doing that. I'll just tell you what's coming up on the channel tomorrow. We're going to have the 6 m UK weather forecast. There'll be the extended European outlook for the next um, 30 days, slash for two days. And, of course, there'll be a 10 to 14 day. I'll bring you up to date on all of the latest developments with this potential cold spell. So keep checking back to the channel for more. For this one, though, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.